It's a great privilege to have with us today the uh, Dr. Walter Pierre Pauli, who's famous around the world for his work in both anti-aging medicine and in cancer and immunology. And indeed, he's been widely published in many journals, and he's known to many members of the public uh, through many of his publications, such as The Melatonin Miracle and The Key of Life, to name but two. But today we're going to be talking about a new subject that very few people know about, uh, about a molecule that Dr. Pierre Pauli has been working with and researching that has some fascinating uh, evidence of its anti-aging properties. And so hopefully in this interview, uh, we, uh, people are going to learn a little bit more about what you've been doing in recent, uh, recent times, uh, Dr. Pierre Pauli. So if I may, can I ask you a very straightforward first question, which is, what is TRH? Well, from, from the chemical point of view, TRH is a tiny tripeptide composed of three amino acids. And uh, this uh, incredible molecule is ubiquitous in nature, and you find it everywhere. In particular, it is a life-saving molecule because, uh, for example, it's contained uh, in the beta cell of the pancreas, allowing insulin to be released. Uh, in the amphibian species, it is con highly concentrated in the skin, uh, allowing, for example, to escape control, I mean changing color, and so on. It has acquired many life-saving capacity and therefore the deepest uh, it is everywhere uh, frankly mm -hmm. so this is why I define it uh, in the, the Stromboli conference as the life generating molecule because uh, it is uh, ubiquitous it has a very key role in the biological system everywhere so in plants uh, for example in uh, alfalfa grass, which is known to have many medical properties, is called Herba Medica. <laughs> it, is, uh, it is contained, it is contained in alfalfa grass, not as uh, TRH precisely, but with, a mole, with one of the amino acids, different okay. amino acids, but it's similar to TRH. So I do believe the in the enormous capacity of TRH to, uh, to be used for uh, prevent, preventive medicine. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Pierpoli. So I suppose the next uh, obvious question would be, what's the role of TRH in humans? The role of TRH in humans is precisely like in any, uh, in any species. I think probably in humans, it's called thyrotropin releasing hormone because uh, it has the capacity to stimulate the TSH in the pituitary gland to produce a hormone which uh, regulates thyroid function. Mm -hmm. uh, therefore, I mean, it has been used for that purpose by intravenous injection to, to inject in people who have some hypophysial problem, TRH, and thyroid. Uh, Function. But this is a very ir irrelevant uh, uh, role of TRH. And the name is misleading because TRH uh, in humans uh, could be used, uh, for example, for regulating uh, glucose levels in mm -hmm. the blood, mm -hmm. which is a main problem in aging in uh, senile diabetes, mm -hmm. which is occurring in the uh, almost the, the, the total population by aging. So in, because maintaining glucose uh, level in the blood is a key for the regulation of metabolism. Mm -hmm. And TRH in humans, as in other mammals, is contained and produced in the beta cells which secrete insulin. Therefore, this, uh, as this is a basic uh, uh, metabolic regulator, uh, obviously, TRH maintenance in the body of humans is fundamental for maintaining all metabolic function uh, because this function or alteration of metabolic function leads inevitably to arteriosclerosis, autoimmune diseases, and finally cancer. Mm -hmm. yeah, thank you, thank you. So I know you've been involved in, a, and there have been a great deal of animal studies conducted with TRH and uh, at your own laboratories you've used TRH in your, in your, with your animals. 
What have you seen in animals that uh, might give us some hints for the future uses of TRH in humans? Well, TRH in 1989 started uh, discovering, uh, discovered the, the potential of this uh, unexpected potential of this tiny pe uh, tripeptide when I observed that, uh, and this is all studied, uh, uh, published uh, papers, uh, first of one in 1990, where I discovered that uh, TRH can reverse immunological dysfunction. For, you know, for example, that the thymus is shrinking with aging. Thymus mm -hmm. is a source of T cells, mm -hmm. which are cells protecting us from viral diseases, from cancer. So uh, I discovered that TRH can powerfully reverse uh, thymus uh, um, shrinkage, thymus reduction, uh, produced by different means, which means that is how I started to be interested with TRH because as an immuno reconstituting capacity. Mm -hmm. And also I saw that it possesses a very powerful antiviral activity. I do believe the antiviral activity is due just to potentiation of immunity. Mm -hmm. Just to make a few examples, another potential in animals, of course, uh, we have observed uh, the fact uh, mm, of a uh, recent paper now in press, also the capacity of the RH uh, to uh, mm, reconstitute uh, uh, the levels uh, of, uh, of thyroid hormones but this is a, 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 an irrelevant effect. The fact that this TRH, the basic activity of TRH is to reset the, the biological clock, allowing the resynchronization of hormonal function, which is basing for what? For the immunity. And also uh, for resetting the biological clock in the sense that the metabolic rate, oxygen supply to the body, and therefore, you can see in animal a reverse of what? Of uh, lipid metabolism to juvenile uh, level and also to uh, uh, glucose level and uh, also all lipids so will go back to, the ori to juvenile uh, conditions. Mm, that, that's, that's incredible, incredible news. So it's... <laughs> I, I suppose then, <laughs> I suppose then, Dr. Pierre Pauli, we have to ask the sixty-four million dollar question, which is: so, given that we have so much evidence in animals, what do we think TRH is going to be able to do for humans, in terms of perhaps specific diseases and problems that we that we occur with aging? Well, in the course of the twenty years, I have elaborated the system for uh, to observe. Uh, the anti-aging effect of TRH in different pathologies from arteriosclerosis to cancer and so on. And uh, I do believe that this uh, tiny tripeptide, uh, given uh, in the right uh, way, in the right uh, route uh, and, uh, and in the right condition, will be able to reverse mainly the main degenerative diseases of aging with arteriosclerosis because it, be, it acts at the basic level of life which uh, uh, would allow uh, truly to reverse aging. I don't know if it would be appreciated but uh, I have been using and my family is using it. Uh, right, excellent, that's, that's, that's very, very confidence inspiring. I wonder then given the great knowledge that you have about TRH. What's your opinion of the future? How do you see, where, where will TRH take us? Well, TRH take us, <laughs> this is a difficult question. I am confident after 20 years of studies of TRH, for the first time, I dare say that TRH will be one main, the main molecule uh, being used uh, on the basis of knowledge, hard scientific work and clinical work for uh, prevention of the, all kinds of diseases, especially, of course, even in reversal of aging, as we have observed in our animal, concerning kidney function and sexual function, all sorts of whatever you are going to see. 
because if the key molecule, life generating molecule, has such a key role in the phylogenetic scale during evolution, obviously, consequently, it will have a, a complete, total, definite anti-aging, aging reversing activity. I think we all very much look forward to that. Thank you very much for your time, <laughs> Dr. Pierre Pauling.